Hello everybody, my name is Kendall, welcome back for the video of the NHL 22 franchise mode. We're going to continue this series. In the last video, we went ahead and got past the entire preseason or offseason. Uh, we uh, went to the free agency, the draft lottery. The draft lottery, the lottery was a little bit underwhelming. We didn't get too much uh, done with it. We did get a goaltender that's a big time prospect for the future, medium elite. Not that we're ever going to uh, see him play probably. I don't see I, I don't see this let's play going that far ahead, but uh, still we got uh, some prospects here and there. Nothing crazy. Free agency, there was literally nothing available, so I just went for a bunch of uh, minor players, and uh, that's pretty much it. We didn't get any upgrades. In fact, our players pretty much started to drop because of their old age. They're starting to drop, boys. We don't have a lot of time remaining. Uh, Kuznetsa dropped to an 87 overall. Still going to play him on the second line. Alongside with Keller uh, and Marner. Uh, Pasternak, Mekinen and Lainey are back together. So that's two plus five lines. But once again, Genzel has a play. Uh, Larkin and Renton in plus three line as well. Johnson uh, or Janssen. Andreas Janssen with Middlestat and Olofsson. Let's see that, how that's going to go for us. We also have defense wise, we've got Titrin, Darlene, all right, both of them playing once again together. Uh, Darlene still draw growing, by the way, so we still want him to play his natural position. Uh, with uh, Owen Power with Lazarev this time around, and Apple by playing with Pirates. Pirates, I'm downgrading him. He did not want to resign with us, uh, he did resign with us uh, now. Uh, with an eight-year deal, the problem is not that good with the senses and everything. Uh, he's not really someone that's going to produce a whole lot. I'd rather have somebody that has a little bit more potential as a defensive defenseman in Lazarev. Even though he's a medium elite, this guy is a low elite. Uh, Lazarev, I feel like, is a little bit better, boys. I don't know. We'll just see how it goes. And Campbell is now an 84 overall, so he's officially a backup goaltender. He's not even a starting uh, goaltender anymore, so... I don't know how the AI is going to figure it out between who gets the most uh, the most uh, time on ice. I, I don't know if it's going to be Campbell looking and I don't really care. Uh, I feel like Campbell should probably be the one playing the, more, the most, but we'll have to see. Uh, in the minors, we got Kisikov. Once again, uh, playing with uh, Bogfist and Volkov. All right, Volkov, uh, a good player overall. Simon. Our new addition with Aiden and Heinz. Heinz being a low elite, boys. So one of our big time uh, top tier prospects. 77 overall. Might be ready next year to play. You'll never know. We never know. And the other two prospects are Abert and Mullen. Both uh, medium elite players. So we'll see how they play uh, together. Uh, I, as well, we also have Capo uh, Bianco. How Wallman, Clifton, Laxonen, and Jolson. And for the minors, we have Subban at 79 and Renta dropped to a 70 overall. So that's pretty much that. We really, like I said, we don't have a whole lot of uh, really not that much of an interesting team compared to last year. We pretty much have the same team except our, some of our players decided, started to actually drop a little bit. So we'll see how the simulation goes for us. We'll uh, start by simulating the, uh, the entire preseason like we always do and uh, see what it looked like. So we finished up the preseason with 6-0-1. So only one loss and it was in overtime against Montreal Canadiens. So a really successful preseason. Let's see if it's going to result in the same way in the actual season itself. Hopefully it does as we start against Montreal. A good 6-1 win against them. 62 win against Tampa Bay. There we go. So uh, let's see if we're going to have another successful year. We could very well have another successful year, boys. Now it's just a matter of figuring out. Uh, are we going to be able to get, like, once we get to the uh, the playoffs, we're going to be able to get far further than we have been before, right? Are we going to finally be able to get to uh, even get close to the cup? So Lazarev got injured, I believe, or that, that was just a minor injury. All right, that's fine. Let's continue to simulate. So far, we uh, we were undefeated until that uh, that one game against the Toronto Maple Leafs we just faced. Uh, they were the first to defeat us uh, in six games. 
and uh, we continue swimming and we're doing so uh, really good right now as uh, Marner is going to get injured. So that's probably going to hurt our uh, simulation a little bit here. Um, Boulet is going to have to get replaced on this. Well, he's got four and a half. No, he's a lot less. Not as good as the... Um, yeah, he's not as good as Olofsson even. So he's going to be in the fourth line. That's going to be a loss against uh, uh, Edmonton. Uh, and an overtime loss against the Calgary Flames. Last game of simulation really quick. Shootout loss against the St. George Sharks. All right, so we're starting to lose a little bit. Uh, last, the first 10 games, boys, 6-2-2. Two, and two. Uh, Still pretty decent. Keller is our best player at the second line with 16 points and 5 goals in 10 games played. All right. That's enough for us to be third in our division. We are in the strongest division, of course, so big-time competition. I don't know. We uh, It looks like the enti our entire division almost is going after the President's Trophy uh, race, boys. So you can already uh, tell how this season's going to go. Uh, power, uh, for the goals, we are obviously scoring the most goals, five goals per game. That's quite a lot. We are also giving up almost uh, the second worst defensive team right here. This is not good whatsoever. Power play wise, we're not doing too good. And penalty kill, uh, we're doing actually pretty decent. We're actually doing pretty decent penalty kill. I will simulate another 20 games. Uh, see if anything's going to change uh, for us in terms of these team stats. If it doesn't, if it continues to go trend down or something for some of them, I'll have to change the strategies a little bit. But uh, right now, Mitchell Marner is back, finally. Uh, I don't know what Barry Boulet did for us during, the, um, uh, during his replacement. Oh, he actually had three points. One goal, three points in four games played. That's pretty good. As we get two wins in a row right here against the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Colorado Ireland, uh, Hurricanes. And we're going to get a loss against the Anaheim Ducks, but that's okay. Uh, we just got to continue to win against the uh, the guys are on, on our own division, especially them. And just continue to win overall, right? Win more games than you lose and we're going to be fine. I'm not really looking as Campbell once again is going to get injured. That's his gimmick. Every single season, he gets injured, boys. And Subban is forced to basically come in here and replace him. Uh, or um, get there as a backup. So, uh, Subban, you got to get in there. Replace him really quick. And Lukanen is going to be playing starting goaltender. As Ren uh, Renta is going to have to have Sezikis. Random goaltender right there. It's going to become a backup for the minors in the meantime. There we go. So, there's a, a win and a loss against uh, Ottawa. Can we get uh, a lot about more wins? Uh, fly, uh, the Flyers are going to fire their head coach. Yes, we did get a win against the Columbus Blue Jackets. 7-2. So 7-2 win against the Columbus Blue Jackets. And a 7-0 uh, win against the Islanders. So we are actually kind of dominating a little bit. So we're doing pretty good. Yeah, there we go. So the, uh, the Colorado Avalanche, we just, uh, defeated them. And that's 20 games played right there. Last record. 8-2, boys. Very good. Very good last record. Uh, 24 points. So the best player uh, for our team is now Line. All right. So, yeah, I think I'm going to try looking in as our backup, uh, as our main starter. Or um, at least tell the AI the most, uh, like, to play him a little bit more than Campbell. So goals four per game. We're starting to drop a little bit, but that's, that's to be expected. We're not going to score five goals per game every time. We're still almost there, you know. So we're still scoring the most goals. Uh, goals against. We're actually doing much better, boys. So I, we're starting to really do uh, a lot better in defensive-wise. Power play is doing a lot better. And penalty kill is going up as well. So yeah, there we go. Everything's going fine. Everything's tr uh, trending upwards, boys. So that's good to see. As we're going to lose against the New York Rangers. These, uh, these guys are going to be a pain in the ass, I feel, I feel like. A uh, second loss in a row against Tampa Bay, but a win against the Islanders. At least the Islanders, we got the upper hand on them. As Darlene's going to get injured, unfortunately. Which means we're going to have to replace him with Bryson. And uh, who between uh, Power and Lazarev is going to get in there? Power is going to have to get in there. Okay, so Power is going to play in the first pair. As Apple Buy is going to get his shot in the uh, first 
second pair of boys and Bryson's gonna get in there uh, with uh, Parents on the third pair so we'll see how that goes uh, f uh, in the meantime let's continue to sim uh, the uh, Los Angeles Kings we did uh, get defeated by them the uh, Winnipeg Jets we defeated them good so we just gotta continue to win games considerably boys just continue to in a good fashion to to uh, to do our uh, just to continue to win in a good fashion as Darlene is already back from his injuries so that's really good and we're just gonna replace him the proper way there we go that's going to be a loss against Colorado, unfortunately. And Renta is going to get injured in the minors. That's unfortunate. He's going to have to get Sezikis back in there again. There we go. All right, so let's go, boys. We just got to keep winning a little bit there. I see a little bit. I'm starting to see some new losses. One thing is for sure, we're seeing a lot more losses than uh, we were seeing last year. So you can already tell like a little bit of a difference between these stats. All the different it does, boys. Like between a 90 overall and an 88 overall, or even an 87. Like when we're talking about Kuznetsov and stuff, uh, that's the that's the main difference. That really is the main difference. It, it does a lot, boys. Two overalls do a lot for your players. All right, so let uh, let's stop it right here. That's 30 games played. Last record five and five. So actually pretty bad, boys. Not too good of, rec of a record. If we look, we have 40 points. We're the second best team of our division. I mean, we're still in the President's Trophy race, kind of. But we're trailing behind here. Uh, we're pl we've played more games than most of these guys. So, yeah, that's not good. we got to start winning games and stop losing them. So, yeah, I don't, I'm not sure why we had a difficult time right here. That was kind of a weird situation. Kind of have to look at things really quick if there's anything in particular that went badly. Now, for the most part, we're doing good. I mean, power play is going up and everything. It's actually the second best power play. Penalty kill is the second best penalty kill. So, yeah, I don't see any problems here. So, I, I don't know what the problem could be. Is it that it's Lukanen that's in the net? That's why we're losing? Because we, I just saw another loss here, a three nothing loss as well against the against the New Jersey Devils. So that's not good. So I might, yeah, I might be tempted to just play Campbell instead of Lukanen, I guess. All right, so let's just uh, continue. There we go. There's a win against the uh, Ottawa Senators. We're gonna get a, a loss against the Colorado, against the Hurricanes. Another loss against Columbus. Okay, yeah, we're starting to lose quite a lot as Lazarev's going to get uh, minor injury, so it doesn't matter, day-to-day -day injury. All right, can we start winning a little bit more, please? That would be great. Up against the uh, Panthers, that's a big team, and we did defeat them, so that's good. That's good news. They're our main competition, one of our main competitions for the President's Trophy race. Uh, there we go. There's a W against the uh, Philadelphia Flyers, the uh, Boston Bruins, which are not doing good this year. We end up losing in, against them. I lost a point there. Not too good. Rangers, we did defeat them. That's a huge win right there. Huge win against the Rangers. Minor injury for Olofsson. Doesn't matter. Yeah, get past all of that. And last game of simulation right here against Montreal. We lost against them. Not good, boys. In the same division. Divisional loss right here. All right, so last record, 5-3-2. A little bit better, but still. Only five wins, boys. I don't get it. I don't get it right here. This is not good. Canucks are the best team right now in the league for 54 points. We've got two games played more than everybody else almost. 53 points for the Rangers, 40, 52 for us. Yeah, we're in the race. It's, four, it's a four-team race right now. We got to do better. We got to do better than this. I don't know how we're doing so bad. I know it's not my team stats. Definitely not my team stats. So, yeah, I don't know how we're doing so bad, boys. And I don't like it right now. I really don't like it. My players, per se, are doing really good. I mean, they're producing. There's just something that's not clicking right now. There's something that's missing from our team that's make it so, making it so that we're actually losing game games more than we should uh should be right here yeah I, I don't know what it is have to figure that one out boys big time 
I don't know boys, I feel like I should bring back Pirates with Power. I feel I think I'm gonna try it out like that. So power going back with Pirates. I'm giving a chance to for Pirates to play more uh, play more, I guess. And Apple Buy is gonna go back with Lazarus. So Lazarus is going back on the third pair, boys. He was playing uh good as uh, Lazarus that is. It's just I feel like there's something I'm missing. Maybe there's a hidden stat somewhere that I'm missing. Not too sure what it could be, but it's definitely something. So I got to look at it in a proper fashion, I guess. Uh, there's got to be something I'm missing, though. Definitely. We're going to try it that way. So we're going to put Kuznets on the third pair, Larkin in the second pair. And uh, let me see really quick. Uh, is that... I'm going to start looking at who plays. Yeah, I'm going to do that, boys. So Renton in with Larkin on the second pair. And Keller uh, is actually going to drop to the fifth pair, uh, third pair. So look at that. All three lines now, top five, boys. So we'll see how that goes up. I got three lines in a row where they, it's all top fives overall. So a uh, plus five overall. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, shootout loss against uh, Tampa Bay. A win against uh, Pittsburgh. Let's see if that's going to work out for us at all. There's a win against Ottawa, boys. Uh, there's another W. There we go. So uh, we just got to keep on winning games here. Let's see if my new strategy, my new line changes are going to do anything. Maybe it will. I'm not too sure, boys. Uh, a, a loss here against Arizona. Not too, sh not too big of a deal as long as we continue to win some games as... This is exactly what we seem to be doing right here. There we go. Up against the Jets. There we go. There's a win. And last but not least, against the uh, Chicago Blackhawks. There's a W. one nothing win as well. Okay, so it seems like we might be playing a little bit better defensively maybe. I'm not too sure. But it is uh, 58 points for Mekinen, our best player so far in 50 games played. Let's see where we are. So 66 points for the Canucks. Uh, the Sabres, uh, this is us, 69 points. So we are above everybody else. Yes, we have surpassed the Panthers by far now. Good, good, good. So we're first in our division. We still have two more games played than everybody else, though, almost. So even three more games played than Canucks. So we got to keep that in mind. But uh, we're in the race now. We're in the race for good. We actually had a really good one, 8, 1-1. One exactly the type of performance i wanted to see boys let's keep it going right here all the way until the trade deadline that's a win against the uh st jose sharks um a loss against vancouver so that's a big loss against vancouver they're one of our uh, main rivals for the president's trophy right here but we get two w's other w's back right afterwards so uh that's fantastic as long as we can get uh keep doing that i think we're gonna be uh doing fantastic boys so Let's keep it going really quick. Oh, there we go. There's a 7 to win, nothing win. Exactly what I want to see, boys. That's the type of performance I want to see more often out of the team I have. Apple Buy got injured. It's going to have to get replaced really quick by um, Bryson. So Bryson get in there. And uh, speaking of which, Bryson, uh, I think, yeah, he's, he's at that forward. So we're just going to uh, play him on the, uh, that pair. How is Parents uh, doing now? Actually producing a little bit more points. Remember, he had three and three, three uh, goals, three assists, uh, playing on the third pair. And ever since I've played him, boys, he uh, got four assists, just like that. So, hey, what do you know? It actually helped him out, boys. And Lazarev, uh, it's, I don't know if it helped him out or not. I'm not too sure how it went, but uh, we'll see, boys, in, the long, uh, in, due, in due term. There's a win against Minnesota. The Seattle Krakens, we end up losing against them. That's unfortunate. Big time, uh, yeah, big time W against the Vancouver Canucks right there. My main rival, remember, boys. So, yeah, there we go. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Big time uh, rivalry win right there. The Los Angeles Kings, we win against them as well. I want to see that, boys. We're going to keep seeing these as Apple Buy is going to be back. Bryson is doing okay, I guess in the uh he could be doing a lot better for uh, our pair he could be doing a lot better as a replacement but uh he's doing just fine i guess in my opinion he's doing his job so i'm happy with uh, bryson boys and there's going to be a w 
against the Vegas Golden Knights, boys. So, yeah, we're doing really good so far. 75 points, 39 goals and 60 games played for Patrick Laine. Actually having a much better season uh, this year than he had last year. So that's really good for him, I guess. As we get 85 points. 84 for the Rangers, our main competition. The goddamn Rangers, boys. Oh, boy. All right. And the other teams are well ab uh, below us now. They're starting to drop. Okay. As we keep going up, they're starting to drop. So 8-2, and two, our last uh, record of 10 games. So the ma our main competition right there is still, right now, the Leafs and the Rangers. Big time the Rangers, though. Let's see our team stats. Uh, and uh, see where we are at. We're never seen, uh, gonna change anything, but I just want to look at it. Yes, second best defensive team, best power offensive team, best power play and penalty kill, second best penalty kill. All right, so it does definitely explain a few things uh, as to why we're so good. Uh, Patrick Lani, of course, our best player. Uh, compared to last year, what did he do last year again? Uh, well, he did get 82 points in 82 games played. But this year is a lot better. Like this year is a lot more like it for a uh, uh, for a guy like Patrick Line. It's definitely a performance like uh, that guy that he deserved to have. Uh, McKinnon is sixty nine points. Pretty good, boys. Pretty good for him. As Pasternak is going to get a good amount of points as well. Marner, where is Pasternak in terms of overall points? He's in there. He's getting a ridicule four points away from the nine hundred marks. As Marner is going to get 56 and 56, so doing pretty good. Uh, Larkin as well, Keller pretty uh, pretty decent. Uh, Kuznetsov is doing fine. Darlene's got 37 points in 58 games played, boys. Missed a couple of games here and there, but uh, pretty good. He, I think he missed only two games actually. He's got 400 points in his career already, so this guy had already had a pretty uh, good career uh, career on only 26 years of age. So yeah, I'm pretty uh, pretty happy with him. So far, his performances are fine. Chitrin is doing fine as well. Or Power with 26 points compared to last year. Yeah, he's on par to get probably his best season of his career. We'll see if that's the case or not. If he's going to surpass the 31-point season. Uh, we'll see, boys. But he's, uh, he's doing really good right now. He's actually got 19 goals. Hold on. As a defenseman, he's got 19 goals. That's quite a lot. He's going to be a 20 goals defenseman, boys. Cr that's crazy. Uh, Pyron's 10 points. Pretty good. Lazarev, 5 points. Uh, Lazarev, compared to last year, he uh, debuted with 10 points. So we'll see if he's going to be able to pass that or not. That's pretty much it. Our goalies, 9-1-2. -0 so our goalies, Jack Campbell, 30 wins. So far with 10 wins for Lukanen. Uh, Lukanen is really disappointing. He's a really bad good uh, backup goaltender, but I can't replace him. I'm stuck with him, boys. I made the mistake of thinking that he was going to grow into a, a decent starter, and he, did, he never did. So that's kind of a mistake on my part, and I, now I'm stuck with him. Uh, so I guess Campbell is stuck with being the best, uh, our top goaltender, which he's not good enough to do that anymore. We're, since we're at the trade deadline, we're going to see really quick if there's any options we uh, could possibly do. Uh, any trades we could possibly do. Maybe exactly like trade one of our goaltenders. Now, Lukanen doesn't have any value, but Campbell does have some value. We could try and get a trade away Campbell, boys. Although I'm kind of worried about doing that because he's played for a lot for a while with us. I mean, at this point, it's been uh, five years. This is fifth year with us. You know, he's a pretty decent goaltender. He's been there a while for us, but I feel like we really need to have a better goaltender right now. I think that's the main upgrade we want. Other than that, I don't see anybody else that we could possibly upgrade. Maybe Pyrons. Uh, I think Pyrons, I still want to hold on to him a little bit while longer. See how it's going to go. Apple buy is not really the type of defenseman I was hoping that he would be. Uh, he's uh, decent, definitely decent, but he's a yeah he's a defensive defenseman, so we can't hope too much out of him. I think he's fine, but uh, we could have a little bit better. We could have a better defenseman possibly. I'm gonna hold on to these defensemen, boys. Though I definitely want to do that. Right winger. 
I don't seem to have anything right wing wise. Uh, as you can see, Heinz is already an 80 overall. So Heinz went from a 77 to an 80 overall during his season. So he's ready to play in the league right now. Uh, we're going to keep him playing on the minors for the entire rest of the season though. Uh, because I uh, I feel like uh, we uh, we want to keep going with uh, Olofsson for a while. So yeah, Heinz is doing very good. He's ready. I'm excited to have him in my team next year. But uh, right now we're just going to have to wait it out. Left wing position. I, can't, I don't see anything uh, either. Well, I do see something actually. Keller is an exact top six. So we could possibly trade him away. And maybe getting something better, boys. It would be a stretch, to say the least. But it is a possibility. As the center-wise, I don't really see... Actually, there's a lot of options. Especially for Kuznetsov. We could uh, try and maybe get something out of him. So, let's see if I can find anything, boys. I'll see you guys in a second. Our first option would be Brad Lambert, uh, Lambert boys. He's got a decent amount of value, and I think it is a possibility for us to possibly trade away a Kuznetsov uh, for him. Obviously, we can't get rid of uh, Middlestad because Middlestad does not... His value is not really high up there compared to someone like Kuznetsov. And they're basically on par with each other. So I'd say Kuznetsov should probably be the one to go if we want to trade anybody. Uh, that uh, that is in the center position. I mean, he's doing fine for us, but uh, he could have done better. Uh, I feel like uh, time to departure from him. He did his job when he had to. He was just there as a 90 overall uh, go uh, player. Uh, we could possibly um, get like get rid of something in exchange for him, like a, a prospect. So uh, give them a pro some sort of prospect in exchange. I uh, would be willing to give them like a Riffier or something like that. And we would have Lambert in exchange. So let's see. Not quite enough. Okay, so maybe if I give you a Riffier and I give you a top four as well. So a uh, Sotovin as well. All right. I'm willing to give you all of that. That's two big time prospects, my guy. The fact that you don't want them right now, it's kind of weird, champ. Come on now. All right, with Thornton. I'm not giving you more than that. Come on. I'm giving you Kuznetsov and three big time the our prospects for Lambert. I mean, come on. Really now? All right. I guess they're not going to want to uh, trade away Lambert, boys. That's not going to happen. All right. Let's try and see if that's going to work out. Keller and Rafers and Sullivan, boys, are two prospects like last time. For Matt, Matt Kachuk, boys. Matthew Kachuk. He's got a six-year deal. And so that was going to put him at 35 years of age. But still, I mean, it's a power forward. Five-star pretty much across the board almost. And he's a 90 overall elite player. Definitely a type of player we want to be, uh, would want to have. As a, a clear upgrade to uh, Clayton Clutchcutter, which did a good job with us for all these years. He did a pretty decent job. Those two years especially, really did uh, really good, uh, had some really good numbers. But I think it could be time to replace him with something a little bit higher tier. So let's see if we can... Uh, possibly do that, boy. So let's uh, let's see. Let's try the trade. Not gonna happen once again. We end up um, having a bit of a problem, boy. So so once again, we cannot find a trade. They don't. Uh, nobody wants to trade anybody, basically. So that's really unfortunate. So I'm not gonna try any trades then. If they don't want to tr do any trades, anybody wants to do anything. What I'm going to end up doing, I'm going to look for a goaltender, right? We need a starter. We need an actual starter to replace Campbell. So I'm hoping that we're going to actually find something. Uh, but uh, if we can't find anything, I'm going to, we're going to be in problem in trouble, boys. But I think we're going to be able to find something for sure. Uh, we do have this uh, Sebastian uh, Casa guy, which seems to be doing good enough. Let me uh, try and get this guy. I think uh, he would be a good addition. 88 overall, medium elite. Let's see if that's going to work out. Hopefully it does, boys. For uh, Jack Kimball, give you as well a couple of prospects. The same ones, like always. If you're Sa uh, Sullivan, is that going to go through? Not enough. Okay. It's like, how, how much do you actually need at some point? 
That's my real question right here. There we go. Accept it. So I gave them three prospects and Jack Campbell. And in this change, I've got Casa. So the, the Jack Campbell going to the Detroit Red Wings, boys. We're going to have to say goodbye to him. We actually have our starting goaltender once more. And he's an 88 overall, 24 years of age, which means he's only going to uh, continue to grow in the long run. So we've got a, a, a good goaltender, a really good goaltender now, who's got the possibility to be eventually become even a real good stud uh, for us. So that would be great, boys. Uh, I want to keep looking. Maybe I could find something, a replacement for the right wing and left wing position for both my players that don't have any values right now, the Olufsen's and, uh, and whatnot. There's a good one right there. Kevin Fiala, boys, is a really good option. Really has a kind of a low value, uh, a low trade value. He's got one year left, I think. Yeah, one year left. And he's an 85 overall, so pretty clear upgrade to uh, an Olufsen. Olufsen is another one of those players that is a long-time player for us. I think he's actually... Our franchise player, yeah. He's never played for any other team than ours. So it would be uh, bad. I mean, how many years is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That would be ninth. That's, uh, that was currently his ninth year with us. Almost a 10 year run with us, boys. That's pretty decent. But uh, I think it's time for us to depart ourselves from him. And definitely. Uh, we're gonna keep giving up. Um, we're gonna keep giving up prospects and whatnot. I got plenty of prospects right here. Let's see if these three prospects are gonna be enough for Kevin Fiala, which it's not gonna be the case. Not gonna be uh, enough. Not quite. Let me see uh, with a top nine and stuff. Not enough. Okay, yeah. So they're definitely not enough. I don't wanna. I don't wanna tr get away any draft uh, pick uh, unless I have to. So I'm just going to I'm going to get rid of these players. This guy's really good. So uh, I think uh, Samsonov, wait, Bozuk and Samsonov are both my first round picks from this year, though. They're both my first round picks. Dubois is a third round pick. I want to keep these guys. I want to see how good they're going to be uh, become, really. So I don't want to get rid of them. I don't have anybody else that I can really trade away uh, unless I trade away like a draft pick, like I said, or something. Which I could. Uh, third round pick could sound good. Even a second round pick. I'm willing to give away uh, give away a second round pick. And a couple of these top nines. If uh, you're uh, willing. If that team is willing to uh, to get those. Alright. For Kivy and Fiala. Which is not the case. So um, I'm going to keep looking a little bit. I'm just going to keep looking. See if there's any options here. Well, I did find something. Goryanov could be one, boys. Another one that really has a super low value. Then that could possibly uh, trade away some stuff for him. So possibly trade away like my second for him. Only my second probably could work. Let's see if that's going to work out. Not quite. So my second and a couple of ninth uh, top nines and stuff uh, could do the trick, boys. So two top nines, uh, three top nines, a second... And Olufsen for Goryanov. Not enough. Damn. It takes a lot, boys. It definitely takes a lot. And since they don't have any trade value, it's it's rough to try and get anything from them. A second from this year and a third from last year. Uh, next year, all right? Let's see if that's going to go through. All right, nope. So uh, I'm not going to make any more trades, boys. I think we're done here. We're done with the trades. The only trade I've been doing, uh, I'm going to have to, uh, that's going to be completed for us this year is going to be the goaltending trade. So Campbell is the only one we're going to get rid of. The other ones, there's, I just can't find anything to get rid of. Uh, I'm not willing to give up any first round picks for anything particular. So we're not going to go full crazy. I uh, think we're going to be fine as it is. We're just going to stick with the team we have. I don't care about uh, the trades anyway. So let's just keep to the team we have. Advance the day and uh, we'll simulate until the trade. Uh, we're going to simulate the rest of the season. All right. So uh, there we go. So uh, that's two wins in a row ever since we did that trade for the ne new goaltender, K Kosa. And uh, there we go. So we're just we're now winning uh, games. We're facing off right here against the Detroit Red Wings, Camp Campbell's new team. 
We'll see if that we win that game as we get an injury right here, which means we're going to have to get Barry Boulet in here. There we go. We get Barry Boulet in the fourth line. And uh, we're just going to keep the current trade block. We're going to uh, skip past the trade deadline. Did we win against the uh, against Jack Campbell's new team? We did. We actually ended up winning 8-1, one, to one, so that's great. That's really great. So, yeah, as you can see, now we're winning games. We haven't lost a single one so far. Bergeron is going to Carolina, boys. So he was playing uh, with Calgary. I guess now he's playing with Carolina. Claude Giroux is another one with Brad Marchand. So both Marchand and Giroux, boys, both going to New York. New York is loading up again. They're getting all these veterans. Not good, boys. I do not like to see that. The fact that we're getting all these goddamn veterans. All right, so nothing crazy aside from uh, the, uh, the the New York Rangers getting a bunch of veterans. Obviously, they're going for that President's Trophy as well. They're in the main race against us. But now we're winning games like crazy. Uh, we're really on a roll right here as we lose against the Boston Bruins. And we lose against Montreal as well. All right, the uh, Eastern teams are having a, a bit of a tougher time here. Yeah, we're definitely having a tougher time against the Bruins. We're losing all those games against them. As uh, Marner is going to be back, finally. I mean, uh, Boulez not bad, but uh, he's definitely not a, a Mitch Marner, that's for sure. So it's good to have Mitch Marner back as we get a, a 5 to nothing win right there against the Philadelphia Flyers. So that's a record of 7-3 and three for the last 10 games. Puts us in a very good spot, boys, with uh, 99 points. Above everybody else in the league right now. We are right there. Almost there. If we continue to win. We have another great uh, record. After that. And we're going to have our our, four, uh, our third president's president trophy in a row. So we just got to keep it moving. Because the Rangers with their brand new additions. They're looking to have it as well. Right? They're in the race against us. I think the uh, Maple Leafs are pretty much, almost, pretty much out of the race at this point. So it's between us, the Rangers, and the Canucks, boys. It's between the three of us. So let's see if we can get it. Let's see if we can get it done. There's a W against the uh, Panthers. There we go. And also, as you can see, we're two, two, line is two goals away from being a 50-goal scorer. Uh, is he going to be able to do it? I hope so. That would be great. Uh, McKinnon, I believe, was one goal away from doing it last year. So that would be great to actually have it. Have a 50 goal score this year. All right, there we go. So that's another, yeah, big time W's as well. We're actually dominating uh, big time right here. We uh, clinched the playoffs officially, boys. Uh, we continuing, we're continuing to win right here, which is really good to see. Up against the Rangers, a really important game right here. We got to defeat them. Uh, defensive wise, Apple Buy got injured again. So now we got to replace him with Bryson. All right, there we go. And we did win against the Rangers, which pretty much solidified our place. Yeah, we're pretty much solidified here. Yeah, I think we did it, boys. Uh, we've got, the for third time in a row, the President's Trophy. So we are simply the best team of the league. By far. That's not going to change anytime soon. The problem is getting past the goddamn third line, uh, third round in the, the playoffs. And uh, that's going to be a W for the last game. Alrighty then, boys. So that's the season right here. Done. Good and done with. So another successful season for a entire time in a row. We get the President's Trophy. Now it's just a matter of actually performing uh, as good in the playoffs and actually getting at the end, like make it at, making it to the end. So we're going to take a look in the next video at the individual stats and everything. And uh, I'll see you guys for the next video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this one. Keep it easy.